today's video I'm going to introduce you to the neighborhood in Toronto known as Queen West and I'm going to tell you how much it costs to rent an Airbnb in that building. So stick around. Hello out there world, my name's Chris and I'm retired working for you. The Toronto series continues. I'm still here in my hometown. Look at this guy's little setup. If you gotta live on the street, that guy's got it all figured out. I don't know how much he's paying, but in this video, I'm gonna tell you how much we're paying to get an Airbnb in there. I'm gonna count the number of pot shops that we come across in a two block radius of Toronto. I think we'll both be surprised at how cannabis culture's taken over this city. I'm gonna point out some of the differences between life here in Toronto and life in Bangkok. But before all of that, let's go in there. I'll tour you through our Airbnb and I'll tell you how much it costs. Okay, so this is the place. First impression when we came in here was really good. Nice uh, foyer. As I walk through this place, I'll tell you some of the good, some of the bad, and then I'll tell you how much it costs. And compared to Bangkok, that's in the bad column. This is the second bedroom, second to two bedrooms. This is the one that Anna's been using. She likes to live out of a suitcase. Bad thing is the airflow in here uh, isn't great, so it's been a heat wave here in Toronto. This room's much hotter than the first bedroom. Oh, this is, this is a good thing. Nice laundry. We've been able to do our own laundry here. Wouldn't say this is good or bad. This is the bathroom. There's only one bathroom. Be amazing if there was two. This is a pretty good thing. Nice kitchen. They could use a little dish, you know, scrubby and some things. They could, they could outfit the place a little better, but it's okay. We've kind of started to spread out here, as you can see. This is bad. This kitchen table set in a room this small, First of all, the chairs are uncomfortable. Secondly, it's big and ugly. This is nice. The living room, the couch. <laughs> this is ridiculous, okay? They got a Westinghouse TV to go with a global media box. I've never heard of it. I've heard of Apple TV. I've heard of Roku. I've heard of Chromecast. I've never heard of a global media box. Entertainment system in here, pretty much useless. Best thing about this place is not the balcony, although that's pretty nice. It's, whoa, it's the location. It's uh, right downtown Toronto. That's certainly a positive and probably a big reason why it's pretty expensive as you'll find out in a minute. Master bedroom, very nice. The bedding is a huge plus, super comfy, nice sheets, nice bedding, king size bed, that's been great. Another plus sizable closet here in the master bedroom. So what does an Airbnb like this in Toronto cost? Well, before I show you the price, a quick question for you. Do you wanna see tours of these Airbnbs in a full price breakdown? Now that Haley and I are fully nomadic, we're just gonna be jumping from one short term rental to the next. Airbnb in Toronto this week, two bedroom because Anna's with us, probably a one bedroom in Toronto a couple of weeks from now, condos in Bangkok, apartments in Chiang Mai, places in Seoul, Korea, wherever we go. I'm curious if you like this and want me to incorporate it into the channel moving forward, drop a comment and let me know. As for this place, here's how the price breaks down. So it's $297.83 per night. We stayed here for a week. Of course, you gotta add your cleaning fee, your service fee, your occupancy taxes and fees. There's so many layers of fees back here in North America. Brings our total to 2644.27. So if I take that total and divide it by seven, it's $377 per night. US dollars, by the way, for this place here. Man, that is pricey. We're in a great location. We're right in the heart of downtown Toronto. It's an expensive city. So that's what it cost us to stay here in the past week. Speaking of the neighborhood, I think I should show you a bit of Queen West. It's a really cool part of Toronto. Just before we get into the neighborhood, I should mention that a big plus of that apartment is that it came with parking. That's rare in Toronto. So as I said, we're gonna tour through Queen West and Queen West, in my opinion, has always started right here. There's the CP24 news van busting out of the building. This was the old Much Music building. 
uh, which is Canada's version of MTV. Anyway, Queen West is an area that stretches from University Avenue to Spadina and then Bathurst. That's the stretch that we're going to walk. It's got a lot of cool shops, a lot of cool patios, restaurants. Like I told you, we're going to count the number of weed stores that are here now. I'll get to that. But first, let's just walk up the street and see what we see. cool thing about uh, all of Toronto that I've noticed on this trip is the building art. Shout out to the Raptors 2019 champs. You got Kyle and Kawhi up here. It's off the Leonard. Defended by Simmons. Is this the dagger? got the CN Tower up there, but uh, the building art all over this city is absolutely epic. Look at this alleyway here. Like I said, Toronto has got a lot of funky street art. So uh, that's similar to Bangkok. Bangkok's got some funky street art, but I think uh, Toronto might have it beat for now. So if you're walking through the Queen West corridor in Toronto, I'd highly recommend bumping back to some of these back alleys. Check out some of this street art. It's really, really cool. Little tip for you, Toronto's become a very, very bike friendly city. And you'll see these things in a program called Bike Share Toronto. They're all over the place. You can download an app, you scan a bike in, you scan it out, you pick it up one place, you drop it off another place. So if you're looking to explore this city, I'd recommend looking into this, Bike Share Toronto. And uh, it'd be a fun way to get around in the summertime. One thing Toronto's awesome at in the summer is patios. We call it patio season. As soon as the temperature gets above freezing, literally everyone jumps down to t-shirts and shorts and hits a patio, hook up with your buddies for some beers or some drinks after work. This one is famous. This one's been around forever. It's called the Black Bull. And uh, it's right here uh, on Queen Street. There's tons of these patios. If you're ever in Toronto, I suggest you hit a patio. on Queen Street West still. I'm right across the street from Toronto City Hall over there. This becomes a big outdoor skating rink every winter, but this is not this construction here. They say in Toronto there's two seasons, winter and construction season. And being back here in the summer, it's definitely construction season. And a big difference between Canada and Asia is how long these these infrastructure construction projects take. I saw in the news here the other day that Queen Street, one of Toronto's main main streets, is going to be closed for five years. When I lived in Korea in the 90s, they built a whole subway system in four years. I can't even count the number of BTS stations and new BTS lines that have opened up in the two years that I've lived in Bangkok. That's a big difference between Canada and Asia. Now, back over to Queen West. My name is Ravi. Oh, cool, you're from Toronto? I'm from Toronto, I just did my groceries and I saw you, it's uh... <laughs> I love what you do. I love the spirit of it. Oh, that's amazing, man. Well, awesome to meet you. First subscriber I met on the streets in Toronto. If you do a meetup, let us know. I mean, uh, we'd love to meet you sometime. Well, that was super cool. I can't believe that someone in Toronto recognized me. It happens all the time in Bangkok, but that was the first time it happened here. That was awesome. And he mentioned a meetup, and I had mentioned a meetup, and that's going to happen. It's nearly confirmed for September 9th. Later in this video, I think I'm going to pop by the 
place. It's just uh, down a couple of blocks that way where the meetup's gonna be. We got a super cool space. So keep September 9th open if you're in Toronto. Oh man, look at this. Never seen one of those before. Is this like some sort of delivery robot? It's just going down the street all by itself here. Off you go down the streets of Toronto. We don't know what you're doing. But we wish you luck in your journey, little robot. The Horseshoe Tavern, an absolute Toronto institution. I think the Rolling Stones have played there. I think that's the song referenced by the illustrious Gord Downey himself in the song Bob Cajun about checkerboard floors, riding on horseback and keeping order restored. This is the heart of Queen West. You can see in Toronto, all these wires overhead, there's a massive streetcar network in this city. Okay, so I should really rewind back to this morning because uh, I gotta give you a recommendation on where I've been eating breakfast every day this week since I've been here and it's right over there. Let me just go back and show you what I got. All right, it's morning time and I've just come out of that bagel shop. It's called Bagels on Fire and one of the best things about Toronto is the baked goods. Look at that, a toasted Montreal style bagel with chive. Cream cheese, they have all kinds of different cream cheeses in there. But I got the chive cream cheese, it's absolutely heavenly. I can't get a bagel like this in Bangkok. The baked goods, we've been on a bit of a run. We're gonna stop in and get something for Anna now. Thank you. Thank you so much. So that's it, we're at Queen and Bathurst, and I gotta say, it's a little sad that it feels that homelessness has been so normalized um, here in Toronto, I guess lots of places. Hopefully a solution can be found. I don't know what it is, but all I know is that it's sad to see that. Anyways, this was the end of our trip. Oh yeah, I gotta tell you how many pot stores there were. I've only gone two blocks. Here's the tally. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, number nine, ten. We're into double digits. And just in case that wasn't enough, we got cannabis coming soon. Tokyo Smokes right. got cold drinks. Look at this nice. He's giving me a free cold drink. What is this? It's delicious. Nice. And is there some weed in it? There is not weed in this can. No. Okay. Well. You can buy it in the store though. That's just a sample of our flavor. <laughs> Thank you. So Toronto seems to be a city full of potheads. Man, how much weed do you guys smoke? And anyways, to those of you who might not be aware, it was fully legalized about two years ago. And so anybody, I think over the age of 18, I'm not sure exactly 18, 19, can walk into these stores and buy a wide array of marijuana-based products. And it seems like lots of people are just based on the sheer number of stores that are there. So I hope you like this tour around Queen West, one of Toronto's coolest, funkiest, hippest neighborhoods. If you're ever in this town, I suggest you uh, spend an afternoon, an evening around here. I got one more stop to make. I'm gonna try and stop by the place where we're gonna have our meetup on September 9th that you're invited to. The place you're invited to on September 9th is right here, it's called Pie. It's a super cool, funky Thai restaurant right downtown Toronto. This is Duncan Street I'm on and that's Adelaide. This is where you'll find it. All the details about the event are gonna come. This is just to save the date. So if you're anywhere near Toronto, get to a calendar and X off September 9th because hopefully you're coming down here to have beers with me and a whole bunch of other people who love Thailand. Stay tuned, all the details about the meetup are coming soon. Much love everyone and I hope to see y'all here. 
Oh, Bangkok could use some of those zippy little quiet electric bikes. They're all over Toronto. Good night, everybody.